official introductions for this professional bantamweight contest. Introducing the fighter on my right, fighting out of the red corner and wearing the white shorts. He has a professional MMA record of six wins with just one loss and no draws. Fighting out of Team Titan London, Jody Collins. And introducing his opponent on my left, fighting out of the blue corner and wearing the green shorts. He has an unbeaten professional MMA record of six wins. No losses and no draws. Fighting out of MMA Academy, Liverpool, Mike Water. Bantamweight action about to get underway here at OMAX 16. Jody Collins at a Team Titan in the white Jacko shorts, taking on MMA Academy's Mike Wooten. Unbeaten 5 0 in the green shorts. Jay, great matchup on paper between these two. Yeah, definitely a great matchup on paper. Wooten's a guy we see regularly here at OMAC. He gets better every time. Uh, he's done a lot with his, uh, with his wrestling game. His, his striking always looks on point, and he's got the submissions as well. Collins, being from London, is not a guy I've seen so much of, but I've seen some of his fights. He's got good wins over the likes of Spencer Hewitt, you know, and uh, six wins to his credit, just one defeat. So it's going to be a tough matchup for uh, for Wooten here. Yeah, Wooten had a hugely entertaining affair, taking on Adam Philpot, back in the cage contender tourney here at the Olympia. Topsy turvy ground affair. Yeah, that was an excellent fight back in December. Now it looks like Collins is trying to just press his man up the, against the cage and just shut down the offense of Wooten, who, let's be fair, Jay, is a guy that you hear a lot of hype about. You know, he's a lot of coverage in magazines and on the internet. Definitely touted as a great prospect in the UK as Mike Wooten. Yeah, and with good reason. He's, as I say, he seems to be improving with every outing. He's, he's looked excellent in all his fights. Uh, I mean, we've called him against the likes of Rob McCrum, who he, he knocked out against Mark Connor, uh, and obviously the fight against Philpot. You know, th this guy's the real deal, but Collins has got the skills to be able to test him. So far, he's just using his, uh, just using his short stature, just press him against the cage and look for a takedown there, but Wooten looks so relaxed, and it doesn't really look threatened by the takedown at this moment in time. As I say that, he switches off. Oh, he, has he got that arm trapped? Big elbows coming in. Gary Goodridge style. Wow, brutal. Absolutely brutal attack from Wooten. Collins in the end did well to just transition out of that, Jay, back in top position, but he shipped a number of elbows there. I thought it was almost curtains for Collins at one point. Yeah, that was an excellent bit of work there from Wooten to just to, uh, to recognize where Collins was gonna go next and there. Uh, he utilized that, he had that Kimura grip on the arm and he managed to switch off and trap the opposite arm to really drive in them elbows. Collins has done a good job to get out of that spot, it was a tough spot for him and uh, now he's on top and he's looking to pass Wooten's guard. He just landed a pretty good elbow there. But Wooten looking to uh, work back to his feet and he gets there. A big guy at the weight is Wooten. Yeah, it does look to have a distinct size advantage just on, on visual interpretation here. But Collins, to his credit, Jay, he hasn't had a problem pinning Wooten up against the cage. I say that, he has a knee and switched to position. Beautiful elbow on the inside. Yeah, a big knee and elbow has just uh, landed on Jody Collins there. And Wooten's got the space, and this is what he'll want. He'll want to use his range. When you've got a uh, reach advantage like this, it'd be a, a shame not to use it. Low blow there. Referee Leon Roberts calls time. Jody Collins, of course, will have up to five minutes to recover from this. Yeah, Wooten, uh, he's, he's not had the chance to be on too much of the offensive so far, apart from that, that spit of shots we saw on the ground, because uh, Collins has done a good job of neutralizing him. But maybe a bit more urgency now. 
I mean, that's all credit to Collins, who's done a great job. He looks to land some overhands there, but he eats a knee off Wooten and then drives him to the fence, looking for that single leg. Yeah, I think we can definitely see the game plan here. It's trying to be employed by Jody Collins, looking to shut Wooten down on the cage. Wooten looks very relaxed in this position. Collins just pressing his weight onto the fence, looking for looking to use that underhook. But Wooten's doing a good job. He's not letting uh, not letting Collins have anything easy from this position. Collins just gets out of the way of a knee there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful front kick and a right hand looks to be warming into the stand-up range as Mike Wooten. Uppercut just misses there from uh, from Collins and he eats a nice left hand counter. Yeah, Wooten definitely warming up as you say, Dave, and he's looking a lot more confident with his strikes. Been that very patient, Jay, as well. He's just looking to count up. Beautiful combination, the left right hand and a high kick. Collins, he's got him on the run now, hasn't he, Mike Wooten? Yeah, everything looks so crisp from Wooten. Nice straight shots and these combinations are coming together perfectly. Collins, to his credit, firing back, but it's almost at this point now, Jay, every strike he throws, Wooten's landing a counter. Yep, and he's beginning to find his range a lot better. It's another low blow, but Collins will be happy for that break. I mean, we've only got 10 seconds left in the round, but Wooten was really managing to find his feet there, and, uh, you know, as you say, he was starting to get a lot more accurate. A couple of those front kicks landed well, and he was stringing his punches and kicks together. Yeah, referee Leon Roberts, as we said earlier in the show, hugely experienced. Definitely, for me, one of the best referees in the world. Giving Wooten probably a final warning, I would say there, Jay. Because two low blows in a round. But moving on to the round as a whole, that flurry by Wooten at the end, possibly enough to take it, Jay. He spent a lot of time with his back to the cage, Wooten, but any of the action that was landed in that last minute, it was all one-way traffic for me. Yeah, and he had that spit of uh, very heavy elbows earlier in the round as well. I'd say pretty much all the damage and uh, the significant strikes have gone in Wooten's favour. Collins has done a good job of, um, of neutralising that for large periods of the round, but didn't really do anything significant enough for me to take it. You know, he's done a good job there of trying to wear his man down but Wooten looking stronger as the round's ended. Yeah, from Jody Collins' point of view, it's difficult for his corner to formulate a game plan now. I mean, at times, Jay, the pushing Wooten against the cage was working. I mean, I certainly don't think Collins will be looking to work the strikes from range. Yeah, he was, uh, as you say, he had that position on the fence but he was really struggling to, uh, to take Wooten down from that position, which obviously would be that best case scenario to get on top and work from there. Superman punch there from Collins, but again, Wooten counters with some solid shots. This is the problem with Collins. It doesn't matter how unorthodox the strike is, whether it's a Superman punch or whatever, Wooten is responding with an excellent counter. But to his credit, Collins is going after it. Yeah, nice knees there from uh, from Wooten as Collins comes in. Collins really throwing caution to the wind and coming in with the strikes, but it was telegraphing him, which allowed Wooten to uh, get off them counters. But good work from Collins there, drives Wooten against the fence and uh, gets him gets his back to the mat this time. Looking to take the back, he's got that left hook in. Looking for the choke is Jody Collins. This would be a real turn up for the books. Yeah, he's uh, squeezing on that jaw. The choke's not under the chin. He's just trying to work for that face pass, neck crank type position. Does look awkward, Jay. It does, and Wooten looks very uncomfortable. And when you see them legs kicking up like that, you've got to think he's in a, a really troublesome position. It's Wooten very up. hard for us to see, Jay. Excuse me, we can't really see the angle on it. Yeah. If we, uh, Wooten looks a little bit more comfortable now and he, uh, he looks to have that head free. And again, Collins wraps that right arm around the face of Mike Wooten. Wooten's tucking his chin and he's not letting him get the choke in. 
And he's shown a bit of grit and determination there to, to not tap to that, that nasty looking uh, face bar. Yeah, I mean, it's a position we don't see very often, Jay. I mean, I'm sure you've been on it yourself, if not in a fight in training. I mean, how painful is a crank like that? Well, I've seen it, you know, happen quite a lot of times. Uh, a, a more recent Shinya Aoki has, uh, has often said that he's stopped going for the choke if the face bar's there, because he'll just either face bar and, and crank it on until they give up the choke or just finish him with that. So, you know, it's a viable position to finish a fight from. And, you know, Collins has done really well there. Credit to Wilton for gritting it out, but it's still Collins in the very dominant position. Yeah, excellent work from Jody Collins. Showing very dangerous work here. Securing Wilton's back. Maybe now looking to pass an amount. Maybe an arm triangle. Wow, great call, Jay. Looking for that arm triangle on that side. Wooten's got the arm in, which buys him a bit of space. But if, if uh, Collins sinks this up properly and uh, drops that shoulder in, he can still finish from there. Wooten frees a bit of space by grabbing underneath that leg. Co uh, Collins looked to switch to an arm, but Wooten back to his feet. Beautiful nice. work from both fighters. Excuse me, Jay. Great work, great attack from Collins and great defence from Mike Wooten. Yeah, that's definitely been Collins' best spell of the fight. He came very close to ending things there. But now it's Wooten who gets his chance to work from the top. Big elbow lands there from Wooten. And now he's got the back and he's got the hooks in. Wow, what a turnaround in this round. Now it's Mike Wooten with Jody Collins back. And let's see what Collins' defence is like in this position. Wow, great match up here, Jay. Yeah, and uh, Wooten looks to have that in, in nice and tight there. And uh, Collins is the one working out now. This is what we like to see, a good bit of back and forth. Both fighters trading positions. Wooten looks to have that sunk in quite tight. This could be all over. Jody Collins desperately trying to push the elbow off. He could go out here, Jay, he taps. Mike it's all Wooten. over. Mike Wooden survived the back onslaught from Jody Collins and when the roles were reversed, the Team Titan man could not survive the onslaught from Mike Wooden. Excellent win, Jay, and what a fight. Just that extra bit more clinical was Wooden when uh, he got that dominant position. Collins trying to crank on the face and trying to finish the fight that way. Once you've got that choke under the chin, that's when it's a certain fight ender. And that's what happened when Mike Wooten took the back. Excellent win. He came back from some adversity. And again, he showed us some very impressive facets to his game. Mike Wooten remains undefeated here at OMAC 16. Ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes and 56 seconds of the second round, your winner by rear naked choke and still undefeated from MMA Academy, Mike Wooten! And as always, a show of appreciation to a fantastic opponent, Judy Collins.